Hello, my name is Fahad Afraji. I'm a fifth grade student and this is my top 10 self-protected animals. Number 10, the hedgehog. The hedgehog is a spine omnivorous animal that lives in Asia, Europe, and North America. They're very sensitive or shy and they aren't very strong. The quills do make predators in pain but doesn't kill them. Quills and curling into a ball are their ways to protect them themselves. The protected spot is the back that is loaded with quills and the weak spot is the stomach where it's defenseless. Number 9. The Skunk The skunk is an omnivorous mammal living in North and South America. They're shy and are pretty strong with their attacks which are the scent and spray. The spray may cause blindness when it goes into the eyes and cause lots of damages to homes and houses. <coughs> The way to protect them themselves is obviously the bat smell and the spray and also powerful claws and their threat displays like stamping and raising tail. They are not a body protected animal since they don't have thick fur, thick skin, etc. Number 8. The Porcupine The porcupine is a spiky, cavey like mammal living in every continent except Antarctica. They are little sensitive and are really strong. The spikes are very painful and are able to kill. <coughs> They use sharp spikes to protect themselves. The protected spots are the back and weak spots are also the stomach and the head. Number 7. The Armadillo The Armadillo is an armored animal living in South America. They are pretty sensitive and are pretty strong. They don't hurt nor kill you but do scratch you when holding them uncomfortably. They protect themselves by its shell, digging and rolling into a ball, but only one species can roll into a ball, which is the three-banded armadillo. The protective spots are the back and weak spots or everywhere else, which they needed the shell to protect these areas. Number 6. The Pangolin The pangolin is a scaled, odd mammal living in Africa and Asia. They're also known as scaly anteaters and are closely related to anteaters and few reptiles. They're pretty shy animals and are pretty strong. They have very strong scales made of keratin, the same materials as your hair and nails. Not only do scales protect them, but also might kill a predator since the scales do have sharp e edges and may might cut. <coughs> they obviously use scales as defenses and they roll into a ball. Not only that, but they do have a gland near the anus that gives a bad smell which does have skunk-like characteristics. The protective spots are the back and tail and weak spots are the stomach and head. Number 5. The Rhinoceros The Rhinoceros is a horned herbivorous mammal living in Africa, which are two species, and Asia, which are three species. They are passive animals, but yet yeah, very defensive. They are sometimes aggressive and are very strong. They have horns used for destruction and might injure or kill. They have a huge horn and thick skin to protect themselves. Their protective spots are almost everywhere since they have thick skin and weak spots are the chin. Number 4. The Turtle the turtle is a quadrupedal shelled reptile living in every continent except Antarctica. They are short and are pretty strong. They don't do that much damage to predators and common species, but some species do bite like snapping turtles. They have a shell and some evade like sea turtles to protect themselves. As the shell is located in the back, it protects it, but all the other areas are weak such as the head and tail. Number 3. The Tortoise the tortoise is a reptile related to the turtle but slower, spends more of its time on land and less spe more and less species. They live in the same continents as turtles but they don't live in Australia. They're pretty strong and almost every species of tortoise don't bite or damage most predators but if they bite on accident, biting my break skin. They have a shell that is stronger than a turtle and instead of evading like most species of turtles, they dig as a way to protect themselves. Their shell protects them, but all the other parts are weak and easily killable. Number 2. The Wolverine, Gula Gula, or Gluten. The Wolverine is a carnivorous mammal that belongs to the weasel or mustelid family and is found in North America, Europe, and Asia. Although being short, they're aggressive and tough. They're very strong and have a Teeth, molars, and claws so strong that they can crush bones. They have a bad smelling musk and thick skirt fur to protect themselves. The fur area is the protected spots and weak spots are areas with no fur like the head and other spots. Number 1. The Rattel or Honey Badger. The Rattel is an omnivorous mustelid or we weasel 
or a mammal that belongs to the weasel family living in Africa, Eurasia, and North America. They're extremely aggressive and are very strong. They have strong claws and teeth that are so strong that they can crush tortoise shells. They use thick, thick skin and a smelly musk to protect themselves. The protected spots are the areas with skin, which is almost everywhere, and weak, or the weak spots are the head. Thank you for watching my video.